We are now going to use Excel and the formulas in Excel to find uh, the five number summary for a set of data. So recall that the five number summary is the minimum, maximum, the median, which is the number directly in the middle, and then quartiles one and three. So quartiles one and three divvy up, well, and the median. So Q1, median, Q3 divvy up the data into four equal parts. So we're putting them into four equal pieces. And then the min and the max is kind of the, uh, you know, they're the outer edges. So the five number summary is what you can use to create your box and whisker plot, should you ever decide to do that. Okay, so we are going to just use five formulas in Excel in order to do this. So um, we are in formulas, more functions. So you can see I already have them listed out here. So next to minimum, I'm going to go to more functions, statistical, and I'm going to go down to min. Now, number one, we just need the range of data. So I'm just going to click and drag. Number two is not important. We don't need to put anything in there. We just click OK. So eight is my smallest number. We're just going to go down in order. So quartile one. So what we want to do is we want to go down to the Q's, quartiles. Now, EXC, INC. The difference is um, INC means inclusive, meaning zero and one, and one or 100% um, are included. And that's what we want. I don't know why you would ever exclude those ranges, um, but I guess there might be a reason at some point. So we're going to use the inclusive. The array part is our set of data. And then you have to specify what quartile you want. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in quartile 1 and 9.75. So 9.75, that means 25% of my data is less than 9.75. Because Q1 is that first part. It's the 25% marker. Now median is the middle piece. So we're going to go ahead. We could use quartile for this as well and use quartile 2. Or you can use median. Right? Those two things are the same. So the median, again, we go highlight my array of numbers, click OK, 14 is my middle number. So 50% of my data are 14 or less. Now because I want to use quartile 3, I'm going to go ahead to recently used, and you see quartile there. Um, I, I like to use my recently used formulas as much as possible. It's less clicking. Um, but now I need quartile 3. And so quartile 3 is 15.25. And then maximum. So maximum can also be found under more functions statistical down to max. Highlight our numbers. And my biggest number is 21. So you can see now I have the five number summary. So the middle 50% of my data falls between 9.75 and 15.25. And there is a quick five number summary using formulas in Excel.